So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Minecraft server available for pretty much every single Minecraft version out there. As an example, I would like to pick Hypixel. Hypixel is actually compatible with every single Minecraft version all the way from 1.8 to 1.18. Now by default, a Minecraft server is of course only compatible with the actual version the Minecraft server is in. Though, there are plugins you can install to allow other Minecraft versions to join your server. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Anyways, before we start, make sure to leave a like on this video and also smash that subscribe button. Most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though you're just a single click away. Two clicks if you also want to enable notifications. And with those two clicks, you would help me and the channel out a lot. And then, without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So like I said in the example of Hypixel, you will actually be able to join the Hypixel server with any Minecraft version from 1.8 to 1.18. So it's compatible with many, many Minecraft versions. Now by default, if you make a server, people will only be able to join your Minecraft server with the version that the server is actually in. So to be able to join a vanilla Minecraft server, so not a modded server, but just a vanilla Minecraft server, it can have plugins, but it just can't have mods, people will actually need to have a client that matches the server version. So if you have a Minecraft server in version 1.17.1, you would need a 1.17.1 Minecraft client to be able to join that server. Now, while by default that is the case, there are actually plugins that you can install that will allow other Minecraft versions to also join your server, even though the clients don't match the version the server is actually in. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna get the compatibility of Hypixel. So to get started, my Minecraft right now is in version 1.18.1. It says modded, but that's just because I installed Optifine. So 1.18.1, remember that. If I click on multiplayer, down here you will see my server, my local running server. That server is in version 1.17.1. It also says incompatible version here, and if I double click, I will just not be able to join it. Outdated server, I'm still on 1.17.1. Which means as soon as I set my client to 1.17.1, I will be able to join this server. So we're gonna install a plugin to fix this. And the plugin we're gonna install is via version. So this is a plugin that will allow players that are using a higher client version to join lower server versions. You also have an overview over here so you can understand it a little bit better. But basically what it's saying is, if you run a Minecraft 1.17.1, 17 server and you install this plugin on it then you will be able to join this server with minecraft version 1.17 and 1.18. Now let's say I will be running a 1.8 server, then we can just follow the 1.8 line and you will see that if we install via version, every single Minecraft version from 1.8 to 1.18 will be able to join your Minecraft server. Now in my case, I don't want to run a 1.8 server because lots of items and cool stuff is just not in there. 1.18 is way too old and for real people are still running a 1.8 server I don't get what you're doing. Update already. That 1.8 came out like oh, how many years ago? Just update your server. Now in my case I'm running a 1.17 server. So by installing via version I would only allow 1.17 and 1.18 clients to connect. Though everything 1.16 and below will not be able to join yet. To add that compatibility we will also have to install via backwards. So this is the overview of via backwards. And what it does is it also allows older Minecraft clients to join a newer server. So if I would install via backwards together with via version on my Minecraft 1.17 server, via version would actually allow for 1.18 servers to join and via backwards would allow for everything 1.16 and below to join. So 1.16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and 1.9. All of those server versions will be compatible, not 1.8 yet. And that's because 1.8 it's just old. So to allow 1.7 and 1.8 clients to connect to your server, you will yet again need another plugin called VIA Rewind. So in theory, by installing VIA version, VIA backwards and VIA Rewind, you would allow every single Minecraft client from version 1.7 to 1.18 to join your Minecraft server. That is a lot of compatibility. But it does come with some issues. And that's what I want to show you here in this video that you might not want every single Minecraft client version to be compatible with your server. So to show you that it works, here we are back in my Minecraft 1.18.1 client. If I go to multiplayer now, you will still see my Minecraft 1.17 server, though this time I'm actually able to join. So here we go, and we're loaded in. I'm in Minecraft version 1.18 now. 
But if I type slash version, you can see that we're running a 1.17.1 version server. Now overall, VR version is the safest plugin to install. This is because it only allows newer client versions to join a older server version. And not a lot can actually go wrong with that. I mean, my Minecraft 1.18 client has all the resources to play on a 1.17 server. It just also has the 1.18 resources to play on 1.18 servers. So if I would be running a 1.15 server for example, then my 1.18 client would have other resources to also play on that 1.15 server. I mean the 1.18 version of course has all the blocks that were also in 1.15. It has all the textures that were also in version 1.15. It just has even more. So that can't really cause a problem. But what happens when you join a newer Minecraft server version with an older client? Because the way my Minecraft works is all the textures you see are actually stored locally on your own PC. But let's say I would join this 1.17 server with a Minecraft 1.15 client. Then that Minecraft 1.15 client won't know the textures of Minecraft 1.16 and 1.17 and 1.18. I mean at the time that 1.15 client was released, 1.16 and 17 and 18 blocks didn't exist yet. So the client doesn't know them. Still you're able to join the server. How will that work? Well to show you I made myself operator and put myself in game mode creative. I'm gonna get a chest now, just like that. Put a chest here on the tree. And then we're gonna put in some 1.17 items. Okay, so these are all 1.17 items. And these are 1.16 items. There we go. Now what happens when I join with a Minecraft client that is in version 1.15? So in that version, these blocks here and these items here don't exist. What happens when you join the server with a client where some blocks just don't exist yet? Well, let's see. Here we are in version 1.15.2. Let's click on multiplayer and like you can see, I'm actually able to join this server. Even though it is in version 1.17, I'm still able to join with my Minecraft 1.15 client. So I'm just gonna click here and we will join the server just like that. Now remember, this is a 1.15 client. Netherite didn't exist here. Deep Slate also didn't exist here. Those blocks were just not in the game yet. So how do these blocks look right now? Will they disappear? Will they look different? Well, they will look different. So it is the plugin via backwards that allowed me in this server. Now what via backwards does is it replaces items with textures that are kind of close to it. So for example, this sword over here, it does say 1.16 netherite sword. Now for the server, this is still just a netherite sword. And it's still just called netherite sword. But because I'm in version 1.15, where the texture and the item in general didn't exist yet, it will just show me a diamond sword and the name will be 1.16 netherite sword. It is still a netherite sword. The server will still see it as a netherite sword. Players who are playing in version 1.17 will still see this as a netherite sword. For me though, it will just show like a diamond sword because that's the closest thing to it that my client actually knows. So if we look in here, you can see that this is also a 1.16 netherite chest plate. Here we got a 1.17 amethyst block, a 1.17 deep slate diamond ore, and a 1.17 deep slate brick. And the deep slate brick looks like a nether brick. Uh, this one is just a normal diamond ore, even though it is a deep slate ore. And this is an amethyst block. It replaces it with one of those ant blocks. But that's basically how the plugin works. It will replace items the client doesn't know with items kind of close to it. Now, of course, how older the Minecraft client version you're playing with, how more textures are gonna be replaced like this. In 1.10, only a fraction of the items that are in 1.18 actually exist. So all those items will need to get replaced. So if you join in version 1.10 or 1.9 even, then tons of textures will need to get replaced. If you play in version 1.18 though, nothing like that will be going on. Because 1.18 knows all the 1.17 items and blocks. This is probably also the reason why they put via version and via backwards in two separate plugins. Via version can't really affect anything. Though the other way around, like you can see, it can cause some problems. Now, you might not think this is a problem. You might think this is fine. Oh look, we got a glow squid here. It actually has a name above it that says glow squid. So if we kill it now, then it will give me... Where is it? There we go, 1.17 glow ink sack. And for other people, this will still show like glow ink sack. For me, it just shows like regular ink sack, and it actually has this weird name, but for others, it won't. Now, in survival, this might not be a really big problem. But let's say you had a creative server or some other kind of cool building server, then 
Of course, problems could be occurring because players might see some of your builds completely different than they're actually intended. So here we go, version 1.10.2. If we go to multiplayer, I can still join the server, which is just insane. But remember, we're still in version 1.10.2. The server is in version 1.17, so it has the new nether. Let's go to the nether. Oh, by the way, here inside the creative inventory, we will only see the items that our client actually knows. So you will only see items until 1.10. Just like that. Okay, let's go in here. So this might look really weird. We have just normal golden ores here. But of course, if we will be in version 1.17, this would show as like a nether ore. Oh, here we got a piglin. Of course, 1.10 doesn't have the piglin texture. So it is just a pigmin for us. Um, we're actually not inside of a new biome. Though we should be flying around in some biome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It actually replaces it with wool. Okay. So we got sighing wool here for the warped biome. Let's say I would have an iron axe. I'm going to game mode survival. And then we mine this. What will it say? 1.16 warped stem. Look at that. And this will just be, yeah, 1.16 warped warped block. It is just a texture that changes. The blocks are the same, but the texture is different. It's so weird. And the question is, do you want this in your Minecraft server? So here we are in version 1.18 again. And you can see that everything just looks like a normal 1.18 nether. Even though just a second ago, all the textures were just completely different. That was in version 1.10. So long story short, it's completely up to you. Via version is very safe to install. It won't cause any problems. So if you run a 1.15 server and you want to allow 1.16, 17 and 18 clients to actually join, then you can do that safely with via version without any problem. And if you also want older client versions to join newer server versions, you will need to install via backwards and it will actually replace blocks for you that it doesn't know. Now then you also still have via rewind, which also allows 1.7 and 1.8 clients to join your 1.17 server for example i don't know if i would go that far back i mean via backwards just works great and fine and of course everything can look very different for an old client what are you doing i'm explaining something to the viewers on older clients the game will look very different but it's still safe to install via rewind it goes so far back. I mean, 1.7. Join a 1.18 server with 1.7. But it's just as easy as just dragging it into your plugins folder and you will be ready to go. That goes for all of these plugins, by the way. Just download them, drag them into your plugins folder and you will be ready to go. That's it. It's as easy as it can get. Anyways, guys, I do really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you got some useful information out of it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and also check if you're subscribed to the channel. Most people who do watch my videos are actually not subscribed even though you're just a single click away two clicks if you also want to enable notifications and with those two clicks you would help me out for a lifetime you actually would you would help the channel to grow and i would really really appreciate that and then guys that's gonna be it for now make your minecraft server compatible with every single minecraft version you want it's freaking epic and then i will see you in the next one bye bye